During glycolysis, glucose is broken down to pyruvate. A two-carbon fragment of pyruvate is used to form acetyl-CoA. The acetyl-CoA enters the Krebs cycle, which occurs in the mitochondrion. During the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, carbon dioxide, CO2, is produced, and a molecule of NADH is formed. The two-carbon acetyl portion of the acetyl-CoA is transferred to a four-carbon molecule, producing a six-carbon compound. The COA carrier molecule is released. Carbon dioxide is then released from the six-carbon molecule, forming a five-carbon compound. In this step, hydrogen is removed and transferred to NAD plus to form NADH. Next, a second oxidation and decarboxylation occurs. Again, NADH and carbon dioxide are produced. In addition, a molecule of ATP is produced. As a result of these reactions, a four-carbon molecule is formed in the Krebs cycle. Finally, the four-carbon molecule is further oxidized, and the hydrogens that are removed are used to form NADH and FADH2. These reactions regenerate the four-carbon molecule that initially reacts with acetyl-CoA. Each glucose molecule is broken down into two pyruvate molecules during glycolysis. Then, each pyruvate is converted to acetyl-CoA, which enters the Krebs cycle. Thus, for each glucose molecule, the Krebs cycle must complete two circuits to completely break down the two pyruvate molecules.